Doctor Who, Peter Cushing, Daleks Invasion Earth, 2150080. Spoiler Town. Almost done. Okay, where we left off in uh, telling what's hap what happens <coughs> in uh, the Doctor Who movie, A Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD, starring Peter, Peter Cushing. Okay. The women that were with Susan and the Londoner Weiler tell the Daleks about them in exchange for food. They were hungry. The Daleks take Susan and the Londoner Weiler to the mine. Here we go with broccoli again. Broccoli is very good for you. I, I believe uh, it's a good source of calcium. And it tastes good too. Okay, different sort of broccoli though. Okay, so broccoli takes Doctor Who and the Londoner David to the shed where Tom and Louise are at. One of the workers at the mine site tells Doctor Who that the Daleks are going to extract the metallic core of the Earth to pilot the planet and use it like a giant spaceship. That seems a little far-fetched. The Londoner David takes Louise into hiding. Tom enters the mine. Broccoli leads the Daleks to Doctor Who. They take Doctor Who away and blow up the shed with broccoli inside. Broccoli gets blown up. Poor Broccoli. Weiler and Susan join Doctor Who. The Daleks' plan is to drop a bomb down a shaft, strike a fracture in the Earth's inner surface to release the metal core of the planet. Don't try that at home. Doctor Who goes to the control room flips a switch and commands the Roboman to attack the Daleks. <coughs> yeah, he speaks into this, it looks like this uh, old-fashioned style uh, microphone. I suppose maybe it was modern at the time. This metal, big metal uh, microphone reminds me of what maybe uh, Elvis and uh, uh, people that back in the well back in the sixties, what the singers used to sing it back then. So, so when when Doctor Who did this, when he 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 flips this switch and he commands the Robo Men, who are being controlled by the Daleks. He commands, by flipping the switch and, and speaking into, into this microphone, Doctor Who commands the Roboman to attack the Daleks. And he says, this order cannot be uh, 
counter countermanded is that the word can't be you can't change this order so I felt this this seemed too easy uh, it was too convenient too convenient too convenient of storytelling the Robomen attack the Daleks Doctor Who Susan and Weiler escape from the Daleks the Daleks kill the Robomen in the control room and release the bomb down the shaft Tom uses wooden boards propped in the shaft to divert the bomb away down a different shaft. And I was going to say something about that, but I think I'm going to save that for later. Yeah, I don't... I have more to say about that. <sighs> if you have an option when you move to a place, an apartment building, if you have an option of living next to the stairway or not living next to the stairway in an apartment building, choose the not living next to a stairway maybe some people would be thinking oh when i move it'll be so close to my apartment but then you're living next to the stairway and you have to listen to stomp 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 people going up and down the stairs very irritating being right next to the stairway my bed is on the other side of the wall of the stairway I moved it there because my bed was in my bedroom. The a neighbor on the other side of my bedroom was waking me up with a laughing and just talking. Mostly laughing was annoying. Waking up to hear the sound of laughing. Ugh. Anyway. And then there's the neighbor above me. Stomp, 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 creak, creak, creak. I wish I didn't have neighbors at all. Back to Doctor Who. Okay. Okay, the bomb that was diverted by Tom with the wooden boards propped in the shaft. And then the bomb went down a different shaft. It's surprising that the bomb dropped from that height didn't smash through the wooden boards. I guess the bomb wasn't very heavy. Well, those wooden boards were very strong. The bomb explodes off course, releasing magnetism that causes the Daleks' controls to go haywire. The Daleks crash into walls and blow up. Two Daleks fall down the shaft. The controls in the control room explode, destroying a Dalek. The Dalek ship tries to take off, but it crashes into the entrance to the mine and explodes. Doctor Who, Louise, and Susan take Tom back to his time, but a couple minutes before the robbers rob the jewelry store.
Yeah, what bugged me about that was if if they so they take Tom in the TARDIS back in time, but a couple of minutes before wouldn't he have because he wasn't going back at the exact time when he left the time stream? Wouldn't like a couple of minutes before, wouldn't Tom be meeting himself? Unless, um, well, they didn't show it, but uh, if they had the, the special effects for it, if, if by going back a couple minutes before time, he merged with his uh, earlier version of himself, maybe they felt that was too complicated when they made that, uh, when they made that scene. Okay, so they take Tom back a couple minutes before he had left. Before he had left originally in the, in the TARDIS. Uh, and then Tom knocks out the driver in... in of, the, of the robber. Um, knocks out... My notes are messed up here. Tom knocks out the driver. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Tom knocks out the driver in the robber's getaway car. All right. Tom knocks out the driver in the robber's getaway car. Then he knocks out the other two robbers after they get in the back seat. Tom drives them, presumably, to the police station. And that's it. Okay. So that's, that's the end of the Doctor Who movie starring Peter Cushing, uh, Daleks Invasion Earth, 2150 AD. They all live happily ever after, except the Daleks and the robbers. Okay, so <clears throat> what, I have some, some things to say about, about that, the movie. Okay, and here is what I have to say. When Tom diverted... Ah, right, here we go. When Tom diverted the bomb the Daleks dropped down the mine, it reminded me of the Doctor Who story, The Dominators. Right here. So that's with, that's with Patrick Troughton as the doctor. <clears throat> that story. In The Dominators. In the story of The Dominators. <clears throat> the Dominators drop an atomic seed device down a shaft which would penetrate the planet's crust. So that's a little similar to the uh, Daleks Invasion Earth, 2150 AD. The Doctor in that, Patrick Troughton in the, in the Dominators. Jamie, the Doctor Jamie, Zoe, and others in the Dominators. They create a tunnel underground the Doctor caught the atomic seed device to save the people on the planet Dulcus. So it just kind of reminded me of that. I was I, I was thinking it was 
wasn't that exactly what happened in, in the Dominators? After I rewatched the Daleks Invasion Earth, 2150 AD. And then when I went back and I rewatched that, that, that scene in the Dominators, uh, no, it wasn't exactly like it, but it was kind of similar. It was a similar idea. Having to divert an explosive device underground. All right, I guess I better stop right there. Yeah, it's a long video, long enough.